Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can pull your step information from your Fitbit account and load it into your Garmin Connect account so that you've got that step information under your Garmin Connect account. Now, why would you wanna do this? Maybe you're somebody like me who I used a Fitbit device for years, then all of a sudden I went and tried a Garmin device and now I wanna pull all of that information from my old Fitbit account into my Garmin account. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is maybe you're somebody like me, I still use my Fitbit. I wear my Garmin most days, but there's some days I don't wear my Garmin and I just want to pull in the step information for the individual days that I decided to just use my Fitbit and didn't use my Garmin device. I'm going to be showing you this. We're going to be using two different websites. It's pretty simple. You're going to be using your Fitbit account on the Fitbit website, and then you're going to be using your Garmin Connect account. So let's go to the computer and I'll walk you through the steps on how to get your step information over from Fitbit to Garmin. Okay, so now I'm on my computer. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this okay. We're going to need to have two different uh, websites open. Basically, we're going to need to use our Garmin Connect account. That's what I'm in right now. But we're also going to need to be able to go into our Fitbit account to retrieve our historical step information. So while I'm in Garmin Connect, I'm going to go ahead and look at my steps. On the left-hand side, you've got a menu here, Activities. I'm going to go to Steps, and we can see my steps for the given day. Today's Friday, November 19th, 2021. I can use the arrow up here and I can go back to a prior day and look at my steps for prior days. But in my case, I'm looking more so at historical data. So I'm gonna scroll down to the middle of the page and there's a section for steps. I'm gonna click on the little report bar graph icon. That'll take me to more of a historical view of my steps. Now I can look at it in a bigger range. I can choose seven days, four weeks, six months, or one year. Let's look at one year. You can see for the past year, I've pretty much got steps every month under my Garmin account. But if we go back a prior year, we'll see that there's some step data that's not exactly accurate because I'm missing January 2020. The reason I'm missing it is during that month, I was only using a Fitbit, I wasn't using my Garmin. So if I wanted to go pull my Fitbit in steps for that month or even further back, I can go back even further and I can see I have no step data for 2018, 2019. Well, if I know I was using my Fitbit during that period, I can go pull in my step information from my Fitbit and it'll show in my Garmin account. So I've got all of my step data in the same place. But in this example, let's just go try and pull my data from January 2020. So now let's go into my Fitbit account. I'm in my Fitbit dashboard. What we're going to do is we're going to click on our profile picture. It's up in the top menu bar, kind of to the right. And then once we get into our user account, we're going to click on our uh, device icon. That'll take us into our device screen. If we go to the left-hand side under settings, there's an option for data export. Now, once I'm in here, I've got a couple different options I can choose. I can pull all of my data, my body data, food, activities, and sleep for steps. In this video, all we're worried about is activities. So I'm gonna uncheck these boxes. I've just got my activities. Now I can do up to 31 days of data at a time. That's about the, um, the biggest drawback of this is you can't just go pull the last five years of data. You can do it, but you have to do it in 30 minutes, uh, 30 day chunks. So I can do this week, this month, last week, last month, or custom. Well, I'm going to do a custom range. We said we wanted January 20, uh, 2020. So I'm going to use the drop down here and I'm going to say January 1st, 2020 to January. 31st, 2020. You can see here, oh, I need to do 2020. Now I've got my date range in. I've got two options. I can export it as a CSV or I can export it Excel. Either one of these will work just fine with Garmin. I'm just going to leave it as CSV and then I'm going to click download. Now, depending on what browser you're using, your download settings are going to be a little bit different. I'm using Firefox. I can save the file or I can open it. In this case, I'm just going to save it. And I'm going to save it off to my desktop. So let's go to desktop. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Now I've got my steps from the missing month exported onto my desktop. Now we need to go into Garmin Connect and we need to import them. Now remember, there's no steps for January 2020. I'm going to click on the cloud icon up here that's for upload or import activity. And I'm going to do import data. Now it's asking me to drag the files here or I can choose browse to select them. I've got my window open over here. I'm just gonna drag the file. There's the file that we just downloaded and I'm gonna do import data. If I did have multiple files, I can drag multiple files at a time. But in my example, I only have this one file. 
It says it looks like you're in, uh, uploading Fitbit data. So it knows based on the data file layout that it's Fitbit. You can adjust any of these if you need to. It should be reading it from your file. So you shouldn't have to mess with anything. But if you needed to change the language, the length, the units, date format, any of that stuff, you could change it here. Or you can simply click Continue. You can see that it's importing that information into my Garmin Connect. It says that import is complete. Now let's click on my steps. And let's do the same thing as before. Oops, looks like I missed it. Let's click on the reports graph. Let's go look at a year view. And now, whereas before we had no data for January 2020, we have our step data from my Fitbit account. The only caveat with this is if you've got step data for a given day from your Garmin device, it won't upload the same day data from a Fitbit device. So for example, if tomorrow I wear my Garmin and I wear my Fitbit, it's gonna use my Garmin steps as my steps. I can't import the Fitbit steps from the same day and overlay the Garmin. When Garmin will always take precedence over your Fitbit. But in my example, if I've got activity from a given day where I had no Garmin activity at all, I can overlay that information into my Garmin account. And it's basically just like, just like we said, you were using a different device on that day and you wanna record those steps in your Garmin Connect account for that given day. Pretty simple stuff. I hope this video helps, but if you got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.